hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are enjoying my video guys if you do like my content please do hit the like and subscribe button and do follow me on facebook and instagram guys and also i have created macarena players page guys please do go and check that page the link i have given in the description and i'm really sorry guys for not uploading the videos on time because i was really not getting time to play this game for quite long time because of some personal issues but now Finally, I will be starting to upload videos continuously as before and in today's video we are discussing two robots guys Killshot and Ares robot and both of them I will be trying Javelin Rack 6 on them We will try to see which kind of styles and which kind of gameplay we can use with these two robots guys And I will try to share some tips and tricks which you can use during your gameplay while using Javelin Rack 6 on these two robot guys So let's not waste the time and start the game guys as you can see this is Macarena map I'm using my Ares robot guys and Ares robot is considered as a tanky robot it has lot of HP and the best part about this robot is it has a shield the shield is under your control so whenever you want you can bring out the shield like I have deployed my shield now I'm just trying to protect myself and get my very first kill which I didn't get yet and I'm using Javelin Rack 6. The Javelin Rack 6 has a range of 75 meter guys. But the only problem with Javelin Rack 6 is you need to lock on to the target. Got my very first kill. And talking about the gameplay, how to use this uh, Javelin Racks on Ares guys. Ares is mostly, uh, you can say, I personally play this robot in defensive mode a lot. Because during tournament time, I really like to stay alive for longer. I don't want to give kills to the enemy team. This uh, kind of setup is very good for tournament because there you're not giving more of the kills to the enemy team guys. And how you play with it is you open your shield whenever you are feeling like you are under threat or someone is attacking you. Just open your shield to protect yourself and when you are attacking someone, when you are you want to go out of your cover and you want to attack someone, then just open your shield and go and full on attack. Now this weapon guys, it needs a reload of 9.7 seconds, like almost 10 seconds I would say is the reload time. So whenever you are uh, like you are in attack like someone is attacking you then my suggestion would be to open your shield protect yourself because the shield will be open for 15 seconds the, the duration of the shield ability is 15 seconds so when you open the shield you would get sufficient time to reload your weapon and fire guys because other than that this robot doesn't have any other uh, ability to kill like this guy you see he is attacking me so now I will open my shield and by the time my shield is protecting me my weapons are reloading so I will be ready for attack again and look I took him boom so this guy I have taken him down by just opening my shield because he cannot uh, get to me because my shield is quite strong enough but if my shield is not there even my weapons are all finished then I am just a sit, uh, very easy sitting target. They can take me down very easily. So you have to make sure one of the two things should be always on. Either your weapon should be completely loaded or your shield should be completely loaded to save you or protect you guys. Because if you exhaust both of them, then you will be a sitting target guys. It will be, you will be a very easy target to be taken down. So always make sure that if you fire your weapons your shield should be there to give you a coverage so that you get enough time to protect yourself from the incoming fire while I am getting this one I am going on attack and let's try to take this juggernaut down my god his health is quite a lot man and see now I don't even have shield and no weapon and he took me down already this was my mistake but yeah I did a mistake you shouldn't repeat this guys and let's try to get my revenge and there is this guy coming down oh this shadow let's try to get him boom i got my revenge guys let's try to get this beacon back and oh shit there is a kill shot again here and he took me down my god he took me down oh this enemy team robots are getting stronger and stronger this 
normal beacon matches are getting very very tricky and you are facing very very hard opponents nowadays i feel like tournaments are much more easier i just got my revenge tournaments are getting much more easier but this kind of uh, beacon maps or beacon game it's getting very much tough i got 8 kills and two beacon guys with aries robot a very decent gameplay with javelin rack 6 guys second match we are in neo hokkaido map same tough top uh, opponents again and this time i'm using my kill shot robot which is equipped with javelin rack 6 Guys this setup is like a universal uh, setup which everyone is running on uh, Macarena Kill shot with Javelin Rack 6 is like one of the first choices which everybody goes for So that's why I just wanted to do a comparison if we use some other kind of setup as well because this setup is deadly and how this setup has to be used is you use your uh, Javelin Racks and save your dash ability once your enemy team health is down with the javelin rack attack then you have to dash on them and then finish them off let's try to get the shadow okay we got him and see my dash is still waiting and i can see one kill shot is coming this side and boom i took him as well double kill guys so these are the tactics you have to always save your dash because this robot doesn't have any kind of shield so definitely you cannot go and i just got frozen by this zypher Oh my god. Oh, enemy team someone saved me. My teammate saved me. <laughs> so, I was just saying that this robot if with this kind of weapon, Javelin Rack 6, you cannot go face to face attack. You have to play more of hide and seek and you need to bring their health down and then finish them off with with your dash guys. And kill shot is bit low on health. Yes, it's a very fast robot it has a speed of 8 km per hour so definitely you can move around in the map very faster but this weapon it's itself is a bit drawback because it needs lock on and in lock on time and you need to go very close to enemy teammate so when you are in 75 meter range you are also a bit exposed because you are a bit close to them and now see this robot is coming i will dash on him and boom we got him as well dominating five kills guys so with this robot the only challenge is its health and uh, javelin racks the only problem with them is that you need to go very close to the enemy team like you can't stay far away same like uh, other weapons you can't just snipe from far away you have to go really close you have to make sure that the weapons they get locked on them and then only you would be able to fire plus sometimes you need to give directions also to this uh, weapon because if there is any kind of cover or they are sitting under some uh, some kind of shade and all then this weapon might miss and i'm just trying to take this juggernaut down boom we got him as well try to capture this uh, beacon as well so this kind of setup is very aggressive setup guys very good for beacon capturing kind of gameplay but for tournaments some people do do use this kind of setup but if you want to long last like if you want to stay very much alive during whole tournament and you don't want to give extra kills to your enemy teammates try to use javelin racks on juggernaut or aries guys it's a very deadly setup do try it because you are not dying as fast as the skill shot will die because it's easier to take down a kill shot like i just got taken down guys So kill shot can be taken down faster. It's very good when you are in this kind of beacon capturing map or beacon capturing gameplay guys because here you have to capture the beacon faster and even if you die here the kill doesn't matter much. But in tournaments if you are dying faster definitely your enemy team mates will be getting more points and there are chances of you losing the gameplay more. So overall both the robots are actually very good when you use them with javelin rack 6 both they have very different play styles uh, with aries it's more about defensive game guys and with uh, kill shot it's more about aggressive gameplay both are different styles both styles can be used to get maximum out of this javelin racks guys and i just finished this game six kills i have done and two beacon capture with my 
kill shot guys so this was the video guys to compare the gameplay of uh, two robots with javelin rack 6 i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do like my content guys please do hit the like and subscribe button and do follow me on facebook and instagram guys thanks for watching